Now I've got nothing personal against our three brothers, aka the Raw Bras. People say, what, what's your deal with the Raw Bras, Holly? No deal with them, but it's just, I get a lot of emails from people going, you know, like, how come the Raw Bras call themselves Raw Bras, but they diss the raw food lifestyle and, and say that you need to eat meat and you can't be a raw foodist and you got to, you know, have steak burgers and drink coffee and, you know, do mate shakes and uh, that the vegan lifestyle is bad for you and too much fruit gives you dental issues and all this stuff. And, and you know, people are welcome to share that opinion and, and talk about that, but when you're using the raw food movement as your stage to write it off, you, you're going to get a bit of a, what's the word, disapproval. <laughs> you're going to get some disapproval there. So my gripe is with people coming into the raw food lifestyle to make money or fame or whatever and just saying, well, I did the raw food lifestyle for a couple of months and, and under eight and this is what happened to me. You know, we've got plenty of names like that. You know, Daniel Vitalis, Susan Schenk. You know, as somebody who, who was a raw vegan for many years, my calorie sources were basically coconut oil, olive oil, and kale. That was basically what I was eating, and, you know, with some tertiary foods, but that was the main stuff. This goes on, Dave Wolf, people like that, saying you, you don't want to be a vegan, you don't want to be extreme more foodist and all this stuff like that. And that's cool, people are welcome to say that, share their opinion. But my gripe is when people just sort of stick around in the scene saying, oh, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it never works, you can't be a vegan, fruit's bad, you can't eat too much fruit, you can eat it sometimes, but not that much. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna stand up and say, hey, that, this is what I think. So I've got another person against the raw bras, but if you watch some of my other videos, I talk in detail about the mistakes they made, the mistakes a lot of people make, under eating, giving into social disapproval, things like that. So that's where my grew up is. I would be cool with it if the raw bras, you know, because people say, oh, you're just like some vegan elitist host. Huh? So if people actually knew me well, they know I've got a lot of meat eater friends. But none of those guys go on the internet and say, well, I've done, I tried this vegan thing, it didn't work, blah, blah, blah. So I, actually, one of my housemates is a raw meat eater. So if anyone to say, oh, you just don't like people because they're not vegan, that's just not true at all. Because one of my good mates is, uh, actually, a lot of my, you know, got a lot of good friends who eat, eat dead animals and, I make fun of their diet and they make fun of mine and it's all good. So what I propose is we give love to the raw bras and we, we give them some uh, creative feedback or suggestions of what would be a better name for them to use so they don't keep running up against conflict like against people like me or you know, loud mouths like myself who just go out on the internet and say things. What would be a better name for them? as opposed to the raw bras, which sort of gets a lot of people going, oh, you guys are raw foodists. Oh, what, what, you eat steak burgers and eat meat? Whoa, what, what would be a better term to end the confusion? Would it be the fish bras, the deer bras, the, the beef bras, the, the egg bras, the, the raw milk and honey bras? What would be a better term for them so people wouldn't be confused when they learn the truth about what the raw bras eat? What would be a better term? What do you think? Post your comments down below. Please keep them, try and keep them polite. And uh, so what would be a better term that raw bras could use to market themselves in the, in the health food world? Paleo bras, you know, primal bras, the, you know, carrion bras, the roadkill bras. What would be a better term? All right. Thanks a lot. See you later.